guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be recreating a look that I did last year and I actually did it really, really, really fast last year. And like it got so much recognition. It was actually inspired by Crispy, of course. I love her to death. But I did this and I didn't wanna do eye makeup, which we're not gonna be doing eye makeup today. We're just gonna wear sunglasses like I did this. And I switched up the wig. I just, I just I'm really digging this like turquoise shade. So let's go ahead and say a little prayer. Get started and see if we can do this again. If not, we're just gonna hold this up. All right guys, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I just used this the other day and my whole life was changed. I'm in the shade medium six and I'm, I just put just a dot because this is all we're gonna use on my Smith 115 and we're only gonna put foundation through here and I'm just gonna pop it under here just because I have a little extra on my brush. But we're not gonna worry about like through here because that's where we're gonna be doing our mask. But we still want everything to look very clean and polish so we still want to use just a touch of foundation and the reason i'm using my brush is because it's going to go around my eyebrows and through here are really easy you can even put it through here even though we're going to wear sunglasses you know we just want to look polished all right guys so i'm using my makeup forever you guys have seen this 12 flash color case i've used everything i've used stuff from the halloween store i've used everything nothing is quite like this thing it's incredible and i'm just going to start by drawing a line here we're gonna do our white first, and then we're gonna fill this in. And we're gonna grab our wig and move it out of the way. And we're gonna go upwards. This part's pretty simple. Just make sure that they kind of match, and then I'm gonna look into my mirror, and I see this one's higher, this one's higher, and I want this to be a bit higher too. This is the part where you figure out that you really do have two different sides to your face, unless you're symmetrical and then I'm very jealous of you. But for me, I'm all like, I'm two different people over here, okay? So I'm also just using a ColourPop concealer brush. So I'm gonna leave my nose bare because we're gonna do the black. It's so funny because my nose actually has these indentions, so I just follow them. And we're gonna draw that last, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start filling in all of the white. And I'm still just using that same brush. And the brush is going to leave brush marks, but I'm going to use my Beauty Blender, and I'm actually gonna be using my Beauty Blender dry, and then we'll go over it, and then this will work out any brush marks. And it'll move around the product. So this doesn't have to be as precise through here as well. We're still gonna shade that with some black eyeshadow. But for now, let's just start working this downwards. Hey guys, now for the fun part. I'm still using that same brush and we're gonna go into the white. And I'm gonna kind of smile. I'm gonna see where my teeth are. There they are. And we're just gonna draw like our teeth where they are. And now that we're going to a smaller tooth, I'm gonna take the side So now we're gonna do another one. It's already pretty cool like this. So now we're gonna start on our bottom teeth. Can't really talk and draw teeth at the same time, guys. I'll do it for you then. In your Batman voice? <laughs> All right guys, I'm taking this concealer brush from Laura Mercier. It's just a pointy brush. And you can see that I've started through here. And then I'm dragging it out. And I want it to get lighter as we go out for right now. So just right in between the teeth. Do you guys ever get on a roll that you know you're about to mess it up and like your heart's beating out of your chest? I swear like my heart is like going a thousand miles an hour. Let me take a breath. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the black and I'm using a Laura Mercier concealer brush. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I always wanna keep you updated on my brushes that I'm using. 
And now we're going to draw a line So we're basically drawing a Y. It's hard guys, I can't talk. This isn't your run of the mill spooky eye. <laughs> so I'm just going to, you're basically drawing a Y going towards your mouth. And don't worry about this being perfect right now. The smaller the strokes, the better. And then I'm gonna turn my head back this way. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more on my brush. And now I'm gonna grab this stack. This is from Melt Cosmetics. This is the Dark Matter Stack. And I'm gonna be using the black shade here. And we're gonna to start to darken through here. Now I'm taking a, this is a medium sized beauty blender and it's dry. And I'm just going to feather this over here. That way it has more of a gradient finish and it kind of fades off into the white. Okay guys, we're going into the really fun part. Also the scariest part. Still using that Laura Mercier concealer brush. We're just kind of going to draw some lines through here. Finish over here. And now we're going to shape them like they were I need a mirror. I'm doing this from so far away. I'm basically doing this like so far away. Now we're kind of connecting this. Think triangles or teardrops. Lock in the mirror. That's funny, because that's actually going to be black. <sighs> that could have been that. So we're just going to continue to do this. You always want to be defaced through here, but you really want it to smoke and be really soft up here where the roots are. Okay, guys. These are turning out pretty good. So now I'm just doing a little, little bit of detail work, so using that same brush. Um, I'm just kind of like going in and just making sure they're shaped like teeth. Okay, like that. I'm deepening any lines and then I'm kind of drawing just roots very lightly. You can even use your fingernail a little bit. And then we're going to go back in through here and make sure that this is shaded really dark. Okay hey guys, now I'm taking the black eyeshadow again, and I'm taking a Marc Jacobs shadow brush, and I'm really going to deepen this part, but I'm also going to fade it into the teeth a little bit here, just to add some more dimension, and then I'm going to go 
over a few of the teeth, like so. Very, very lightly. Now let's draw us a nose. Okay guys, I kind of got carried away and I did the nose, but I did it on Instagram, my, like a little Instagram mini. But all you do is you basically draw two points. And then I like to bring it down. I'll show you from the side where I bring it. Paint the inside of your nose black. It's very unattractive later. Cute for now. And just make sure it's even. And then I will show you guys that I'm gonna go over this just to make sure I don't have any brush streaks in it with my not damp, very dry, medium-sized beauty blender. Okay guys, now we're just gonna define this line. I'm using the Laura Mercier brush. We're just gonna define this. One fail swoop. Same thing on this side. Okay guys, now we're gonna take our white and just layer it right above our black just to add some more depth. And one last step is we're going to put some black light powder on our teeth. I think that's gonna be super cool. So let's just finish doing this and then we'll hop over to the powder. Okay guys, I'm taking this um, Soap and Glory Super Cat Eyeliner and we're just going to go through here to add some more dimension. I want to add some fun detail to this, kind of give it like a lace effect. This is actually kind of cool. I'm done with that side. So I'm taking my liner and I'm dipping it into the black face paint we were using. And I'm kind of just drawing like just little, little rainbow shapes here. For the fun part. So this is called Fluo Night. This is basically makeup forever, black light pigment. So it goes on like nothing. And we're just gonna tap it on our teeth. And I'm using a ColourPop concealer brush. So here's the finished look before we turn the lights on. I can't wait for you to see that. That's gonna be at the end. Um, this turned out pretty dope, especially when you turn the lights off. And then if you're wondering why my hands look like this, wait till the lights go off, it's so cool. Anyways, my wig is from Powder Room D. My sunglasses are Key Australia. I tell you that at the end too. I just wanted to make sure you saw this with the lights on. Pretty awesome. Stay tuned. Whoa!